183 needed to win. Four hours 20 there was when they started this innings. Now, if England bowls 16 overs an hour, it's about 70 overs. They need just under three, o three runs an over. And eight runs coming off the three overs bowled so far. That means it's just about exactly the scoring rate that India need. got through fairly fortunate for four runs and he seemed from here to be a long way from that one once again see John Price getting a little bit of lift and life here a thick edge from Gavaspa he certainly wasn't anywhere near it fortunately bisecting those slick fieldsmen gives him four takes him on to six and the Indians on to twelve and the England slip fielders. Was a bit upset about that. So price again. Good shot. Good firm straight drive. One before Dolivera should cut that off, but it should be three runs here to Gavaska. surveying the close field of three slips in a gully and a short fine leg. this time to Warwick. Oliveira being kept busy in these first few overs. So an extra fieldsman away from the bat now. Skipper Illingworth coming out of his third slip position. Dropping himself in at cover point. And that's going to be out. So a short ball there from Price. Wadika going for the hook. But succeeding only in presenting Jeff Boycott with a very dolly catch at mid wicket. Far too high up on the bat, he caught that. So a wicket now for John Price in India, losing the second wicket at 21. And that's Skipper Wadika and a fairly vital wicket for them. A uh, very experienced captain who played so well in the first 11, in the first innings.
So John Price coming in for his fourth over. It's clipped away by the little Gavaska. Two more runs. And a misfield, giving him a third. Well, that was a real John Snow misfield. When he misfields it, he looks as though it doesn't matter at all. He took a long time about picking it up again. And uh, if you're a bowler or a captain, it doesn't, he doesn't endear himself to you. But that's his way. He can get wickets, you don't mind. Engineers clip that away. It's going to be four runs this time. In the air. Not too far away from Luckhurst at mid-wicket. No doubt at all of engineers' intentions now. He's, of course, an extremely experienced Test match cricketer. Indians delighted to be able to call on him. Resident and playing for Lancashire now, but this is his 31st Test match. It's a top score of 109 in Test match cricket. And another fine shot. Basil Oliveira got another chase. He'll cut it off, but there should be three. Six. Showing a good deal of aggression. He's moved on to 19. Gavaska remaining. The opening bat, 14. Sardisai, Vishwanath, Solka, Abid Ali. Plenty of batting to come. And snow to continue. So that didn't look a very nice incident to me. John Snow's a smile on his face. No question at all that he was impeding that little batsman there, in my opinion. I would say entitled, though, Jim. The ball was stopped just where the batsman's running. Now, look, he's running straight towards that ball. And Snow's going fair enough for the, for the ball, but he puts his shoulder in late on in the day there. So Gifford, first time we've had spin. An engineer has got after Gifford and has hit him against the turn to wide long on for four robust runs. So the 50 comes up. 52 for two. And test match terms are going like a dose of salt. Chopped away for another three down to Oliveira. So that's seven runs off Gifford's first over already. And time 
is really of the essence for India because we understand that rain is expected at Lords around about half past three in another hour and a quarter and uh, the chances are it'll go on raining until it gets dark and how sad that would be if we didn't get a result one way or the other because of the weather well when they started after lunch they needed another 136 in three and a half hours and little Kavaska catching some of engineers urgency so seven runs off the over 26 to the dashing engineer, 17 to Gavaska. Last man Wadika was hooking at Snow, at her price rather, and caught at close mid wicket. The 57 coming up in 12.4 overs, which is a very good striking rate in test matches. John Snow coming on at the pavilion end. Seeing whether he can get some lift out of that uh, notorious Lord's Ridge. Round about, uh, or just short of a length, up at the nursery end. John Snow being urged to get on with it by certain sections of the crowd. His bow at engineer with two slips and a gully. No one close on the leg side. The sky at the moment reasonably bright. The light is better than when they resumed ten past two. Straight to mid on. Vasco wanted a single, Lucker shying for this end. Wasn't Gavaska's shout, but there probably was a single there if Engineer had been willing to go for it at once. Good ball out from Snow. Knocking into the ridge and just getting up to wrap the glove. Engineer ought to have that strap on his pad adjusted. He wouldn't get, want to get caught at the wicket down the leg side off that. One run. Hardly recall engineer missing a thing on his legs. Snow now to Gavaska. And 
one more. Interesting from the single, but it just can't be there. Not with Dolivera steaming in. Two runs off that over from Snow. India are 58 for two. 27 now to Engineer and 18 to Gavaska. Eleven runs made off three overs since lunch in the even time. Different field for Gavaska. Set of Edrich at uh, short extra cover or silly mid off. He's now posted in the gully. And we've got a short leg as well. Amos coming across at Silly Point. That's a nice little chop down to third man. Billingworth chasing it. Engineer is coming back for a third. The latest news from Lords, it's really an exciting situation. India, needing 183 to beat England for the first time in this country, have made 61 for two, and their effort now is being led by the dashing engineer who's made 27. He made 19 or five overs and a bit before lunch. Little Gavaska keeping him company on 21. 61 for two. When they started about a quarter of an hour ago, there were three and a half hours left for play today. Here's the card showing how they lost Mankad, caught behind, and Wadika, mishooking, caught at short mid-wicket. Engineer promoted in the order from number six to number four, and it's John Snow to bowl now to Gavaska from the pavilion end. Fielder is boycott. One run. Engineer has uh, really injected a sense of urgency into this situation and it's it's quite needed by India because the weather forecast is rather grim. We understand that rain is uh, likely to arrive in the area of London NW8 by about half past three and to persist until dark. It's one run. And how sad it would be if we didn't get a positive result one way or the other in this test match because of the weather. 62 for two, engineer 28, and England today made 191. Gavaska now on 22. That I think was leg buys. Dolivier is fielding it, will be two runs. Engineer coming back for a third. 
running like a demon between the wickets. Really as if it was a Sunday afternoon. Ted Dexter. Yes, they've had a few mix-ups as well. I think Engineer is in fact fairly sound, but his young partner, Gavaskar, only 21 years of age, probably hasn't been in such an exciting situation as this. India 66 chasing 183. Fine shot for no run. Quick look at the England card this morning. All the five remaining wickets going down for the addition of 46 runs, all going down to the spinners, not 24. Illingworth, bat and pad, not unlucky, caught off one short leg's boot to another's hand. Hutton yorked, snow, deep square leg, sweeping, price, bat and pad. And again with that facility of his on the leg stump, it looks like four runs down the hill it is. So a really spirited race for the runs here by India, trying to beat England for the first time in this country. They've made 66, 69, 70 now for two, 32 to engineer. And let's go racing with Peter O'Sullivan at Goodwood. Well bowled. John Snow has bowled pretty well in this innings without much luck. Got past the bat several times. But, uh, bowled uh, in a particularly hostile way from the nursery end when the innings began. John Price looked less effective. John Snow's figures, one for 23. Eight overs bowled. So the run rate is quite remarkable in test match terms. 16 overs, 70 for two. It could be a Gillette or a John Player League. Nearly five and over. And Gifford to Little Gavaska. What a fine shot. Down the wicket. Lofted it a bit, but right off the meat of the bat. Encouragement there from Engineer, who really enjoyed the stroke. Yes, we haven't seen many of those. Nip down there, very neat on his feet. You'll notice that uh, to Gifford, uh, to Kavaska, Gifford has Amos, Edrich, and Hutton close on the offside. Another fine shot, it's four straight. This is really a most challenging piece of cricket. We've heard for so long that it was difficult to play shots against the spinners on this pitch. Well, England discounted that in their second innings. The ball is still turned for those who can spin it. Haven't seen Gifford bend very much so far in this innings. Makes a difference, Ted, when the batsman is down the wicket, and it doesn't make much difference if the ball is going to turn if he's right there at the pitch. Yes, as long as he gets there, but he certainly ruins the, the bowler's accuracy. That's the whole point. You may have seen after he was hit for four once, Gifford ran up next ball and had to stop in the middle of his run. Well, he wouldn't have done that for sure if the batsman had just been blocking. It's the old adage, hit him off his length and it works. Gifford giving that one a little bit more air. Vasca catching up, engineer now. Made 30. Seventy-eight for two, eight runs off Gifford's over. 
Gifford has now bowled three overs for 18 runs. And life was not like that in the first innings at all. They put on 57 for this partnership. The engineer batted for 23 minutes before lunch and another 20 minutes since. 32 in 43 minutes. Another bowling change in the middle. Off comes Snow and on comes Hutton. Alan not in a little spot of bother down there. I think he's ready. So Richard Hutton who bowled two overs. One either side of lunch, five runs of him so far. Didn't pose any particular problems. Engineer the batsman. <coughs> and uh, surprisingly, Luckhurst missing that. It wasn't easy, of course, but he seemed to try and stop it with his boot. Thought he'd got it covered with his hand. Another walking shot by Engineer, standing very upright and flicking that away. a nice shot by Gavaska. Giffords fielding and uh, only is taking the one. Just as well. Oh, they got an overthrow. Rather luckily. All uh, ricocheting off the stump. So it's 81 for two. That's a magnificent shot off the back foot. Four runs past Boycott. A thrilling piece of cricket. Four more to Gavaska. And the Indian target now is less than 100. 85 for two. 36 to Gavaska, moving ahead of his partner. And India have the winning of this match now, beyond a doubt, provided it doesn't rain. Seven runs off that Hutton over, so the last three overs have produced seven runs, eight runs, and six. 85 off 18. 